I'm removing flowers from this azalea to prepare it for repotting. Azaleas are very interesting species. They are not top dominant as uh, other trees are. They tend to grow stronger in lower parts of the tree. They also need, uh, need uh, special substrate, acid special substrate, and they can be repotted in different time of the year than other trees are. Cutting the flowers, take care that you cut it completely off, including the pestils. So the azalea is ready for repotting, but I'm still waiting uh, for the pot to be delivered. So in meantime, I'll be working on this Itoigawa juniper. Let us see first uh, some history of this tree. The tree became overgrown in recent years. The air and the sun doesn't penetrate into the crown anymore and this causes the problem inside of the crown where the green uh, mass is uh, getting brown. So my plan is to reduce the crown significantly. There will be a lot of cutting and cleaning. So from the outside crown may seems to be green but uh, when I open it up you can see a lot of dead branches and uh, brown needles so all this must be cleaned up.
Meanwhile, this beautiful pot for Azalea arrived, delivered by great Matthias Raimondi, the potter himself. So let's do a repotting. I'm done with cleaning. The crown is much lighter now than it was before and the air and the sun can now easily get into the crown. Of course the main question now is uh, does the tree in such state of uh, refinement as this one really needs a wiring? Well if I would be preparing this tree for the, an exhibition in near future then for sure I would try to exhibit it without wire. But uh, because there is uh, no exhibition planned in next weeks or in next months, I decided to wire it again. I will of course use just a uh, small size wire. Also, the work on this juniper is done. I call this tree pelican because of its wing and leg. The sky is the edge of faraway sea, says the scroll. And the pelican is free to fly again. <laughs> 